There are five ways to get your photos and videos off of the Canon R50 and today I'm going to cover all of them. The first way that you can get your photos and videos off of the Canon R50 is the old fashioned way. Opening up the bottom right here and taking out the SD card. And this is the way I personally take off the photos and videos off of my camera. And it has been the only way I've been doing it ever since I started getting into cameras. It surprises me that most people just do not know how to transfer files using this method. So let me just cover it really quick. So on some computers, you have an SD card slot that's built into the laptop or the computer, but now most computers don't have that. So essentially you're gonna have to buy something like this, which is like a dongle or or connecting to your laptop but essentially you have to get the one that has a SD card slot so if you see right there small little slot take your SD card plug it in to it right here and then you plug this onto your computer and then from there you can drag and drop the files from the SD card onto your computer. So that's the most simplest way, at least for me. And there's actually another way that you can manually do this. Um, so if you don't wanna take out the SD card, for example, you can also transfer um, using the USB-C um, connector right here. But I'll save that for later on in the video because it requires some steps to do before you do that. But with that said, let's get into the wireless options of getting your files from the camera to your smartphone, to your computer. So the first way to transfer wirelessly is actually a way I haven't particularly used myself and that's uploading it via image.canon. So think of this as Canon's version of Google Drive. So essentially you'll be able to take pictures and have it automatically upload to image.canon and it's more of a short-term solution in terms of getting your files from your camera onto like a cloud service like image.canon or you know Google Drive. Like I said I haven't personally tried this myself but it's free and apparently it works really well so definitely give it a try and let me know in this comment section um, whether you like it or not. One good use case I can think of is like having it hooked up to image.canon and then say you're doing like a photo shoot or you're doing like a photo booth or something with your camera and you're just taking photos. Since the R50 only has one SD card slot, it's kind of risky, you know, keeping all the photos on the SD card because if it fails, your pictures are gone. So having it connected to image.canon and as you're shooting, having it upload directly there as the event is going on, I think that's a really great way to have a, you know, a backup copy somewhere in the cloud. So that's just one use case I can think of. Definitely give it a try and let me know your thoughts. But the next way would be transferring wirelessly from the camera over to your phone. But before we do that, it requires a little bit of setup. So let's learn how to do that right now. So the first thing you're going to do is not actually be on the camera yet. You're going to be on your smartphone. So the app you're going to download is called Camera Connect. Um, I already have it downloaded here, but once you have that downloaded, then you can finally go over to your camera. So go ahead and press the menu button right here. And then from here, you're going to want to be on the purple menu. You can tell right here by the tab here has the arrows going opposite directions. So you're going to want to go to the second screen here where it says Wi-Fi settings and Bluetooth settings. And you're going to want to make sure that these are on. Next from here, we're going to go back to that first page in the purple menu and click on connect to smart smartphone um, or tablet and you also have this other menu item here called send to smartphone after shot over here it's enabled so we'll keep that on here you're gonna click on add device to connect to just hit ok so we already have the app installed so we're gonna hit next and now we're gonna start the app on my phone all right so we have the app here and so in the top left uh, at least for um, Android here it's gonna be in the top left you're gonna add a camera so you're gonna find the R50 from this list right here and if you can't find it make sure you have the latest version of the app because the first time I looked here it was not here and I had to update the app to get the R50 so Here's the R50 right there. We're gonna click on that. Um, we're gonna have several options here to connect. Uh, they recommend Bluetooth, so let's just do Bluetooth for now. And connecting through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are gonna be very, very similar. And now it's detecting the camera. So you had the two devices here right now. So eventually your phone will detect the camera. So make sure your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi is on just to be safe. So it'll show your camera here, R50. And you can just verify the name here, R50-5091E1. There it is. That detects it. So it's going to pair up with the camera. We're going to pair with the camera. All right. We're just going to confirm it's the same name. We already confirmed it. So hit next here. 
All right, and it shows that Bluetooth pairing was successful. So just hit OK. And now my smartphone and the R50 are connected. Now that you got that set up, now we can officially get into transferring the files over to your phone. You're just going to want to um, click one of these items here where it says import images and it's gonna be searching for network. And on your camera and on your phone, it's gonna start searching. You're gonna hit connect, connecting via Wi-Fi. All right, so once it says connection established, here on the phone, I don't have any pictures, but um, over here on the camera is where the magic will happen. So let me just take a couple test photos right here and we'll see it pop up on my phone. So let's take one here. And let's just give it a minute here to appear then there you go there is the files so as you can see here you can be shooting your photos or shooting your video and then have the photo pop up right here so let's actually um, shoot like a short couple second video right here just to demonstrate it so here we go one two three yeah so three seconds is good enough so we just hit okay oh exit it out but then if you look right there it shows that sh that video and then you have all the options here at the bottom info rating import apps or delete so yeah uh, if you want to download these pictures here onto your phone we're just gonna go here and hit import uh, it gives you all these different um, settings here that you uh, ask you if you want to do so first off here it says the JPEG format save size you're gonna choose reduced or or not I don't want it reduced, uh, movie safe quality, we're gonna want it, uh, it compressed or not, I don't want it compressed, and delete the location information. Um, there's a setting here that you can turn on the location that's on your camera, so like if you're, for example, traveling and you wanna have the location of where you were when you took that picture while traveling, you wanna uh, you know, leave that location data on those pictures. So this is gonna ask you if you wanna delete that location data. For me, I'll turn it off, um, you know, you never know you, when you might knew that. And then, you know, use these settings from now on. I'm just gonna leave the unchecked because I might change my mind. So hit okay. And yeah, so it's gonna show here, downloading that image onto your phone and you can open it in your photo app. So let's see. Yeah, I have my photo. <laughs> Pretty lame photo, but it does what it says it does. So we're just gonna go back and then we're gonna do the video real quick to show you how to do it. But it's pretty much the same thing. You can hit import. All right, and it's gonna download it, but I just don't wanna do that right now. And one more thing before we go, if you click here on the shoot, you can do remote live shooting. So as you can see here, I'm moving the camera around and you can see it live on my phone. So like point it towards me right now. But yeah, so once you have the R50 connected to your phone, you can do cool things like live shooting like I'm doing right now and transferring the photos over to your smartphone um, as you're shooting. All right, so not that hard. This is probably gonna be the most common way for younger people. Um, at least for me, I still would rather go the SD card route. But for the people who want it, like right then and there, they can download it to their phone and then you know send it out to your friends that way. So next up is transferring wirelessly from your camera to your computer. So it's a little bit different from transferring to your phone because we have to download a program on our laptop in order for everything to work. So let's learn how to do that right now. All right, so the first thing you're actually going to do is you're gonna go to this website. I have it linked down in the description of this video. I have the USA version, then also a couple other regions in there for my audience. Um, so you're gonna go to this page and you're gonna scroll down and you're going to find the software and drivers. See this section right here. You're gonna open it and you're gonna put your operating system and the version of your operating system. So you already detected mine. I had to choose uh, Mac OS. So you're gonna go and download the EOS Utility 3.16.12 as of the recording of this video. You're gonna download it and you're gonna install it on your computer. Since I already have it installed, I'm gonna go open it up right now. It's gonna open this small little window here and tell you to connect an EOS camera. That's when you're gonna go over to your camera and you're gonna go to the purple menu, the first page, um, or actually let's go to the page two first and then just make sure that the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings are on. Once they, you confirm that they're on, you can go over to page one and then where it says connect to EOS utility, you're gonna click on that. And then when you go inside that menu, you're gonna see add a device to connect to. So you're gonna click on that. And basically it's gonna search for nearby Wi-Fi. So what you're going to do is take note of what 
Wi-Fi that your computer is connected to and make sure that you connect your R50 to that same Wi-Fi because that's how it's going to be able to talk to the computer through the Wi-Fi. So you're going to start pairing device, hit OK. It's going to tell you to go over to your computer because the EOS um, utility will detect that there's a camera nearby. Go back to that little um, window here and it says EOS pairing software here. So camera model EOS M50, uh, R50, sorry. And then a bunch of details here. You're going to hit connect and it's going to tell you to look back on the screen of your camera. And then it says that it found a MacBook. So we're going to hit OK here. And then officially from there, your camera and your computer are now connected. As you can see here, I took a couple of test pictures already, but these are pictures that are already existing on my camera. So if you want to transfer these files, you're going to hit this button here and hit download. But before we even do that, we want to set a destination folder. So down here where it says preferences, and then click on that. And basically we're going to set the file storage so that the files have a place to um, go when you um, take pictures or transfer photos. This can be anything that you want. So I'm just going to um, just create another one. I created a folder on my desktop called test. And here I have two dates, uh, two folders with two separate dates. I'm just going to create another one. I'm just going to put test folder here. You know, I'll just do a random one right there and then you click open and then this um, path right here is where all your files are going to go to you can also change the format of like the files and all that stuff so we're gonna just get oh, okay now that we have the destination set we can start transferring photos so click on this button right here to select all or you can unselect it and just select the ones that you want right there and hit download and it's going to tell you that, uh, you know, it's going to download to that folder. Again, you can change your destination folder here, file name, whatever. Hit OK. And it's going to say transferring image data. We'll give it some time to um, transfer this, these over. And again, these are only JPEG photos. It also does raw photos and JPEG, um, the raw plus JPEG um, setting on the camera. So you can do both. And oh, actually here, one of these is a video. So it's transferring the video also. So that's why this one's taking a little bit longer. Uh, but we're just going to wait until everything is done. All right. And then if we go to that folder that's on the desktop here, test folder here, you can open it up, this test folder that I created earlier, and then another folder within that. And it shows the files that transferred over. I have a video here that I took too. So yeah, that's basically transferring your files from your camera over to your computer using the EOS utility here. Um, there's also a couple more features that we can do here. So if you click on here, main window, it gives you options to, you know, uh, firmware update and just a bunch of miscellaneous settings here. Just hit return. Um, we have remote shooting here. Um, this is a pretty cool feature. Uh, if you want to do like remote um, shooting here, uh, if you click on live view shoot, it'll pop up a window here of the live view of the camera. So let's do a quick test run. Look at that. That's crazy. Really, really bad. It's <laughs> duplicating itself there. All right. And you can basically see me. I'm sitting behind the camera right now. <laughs> pretty cool. So this is really cool. Um, so let's actually close this out. So that's another thing that we can do. If you, if you guys want more of a deeper dive into remote shooting, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video about that. So if you look at this setting here, download images to computer, click on it. You can do all images or you can just select and download and it'll bring you back to this page right here. The EOS utility is really cool and you can do some pretty cool stuff on it. If you want me to go more in depth on the EOS utility, definitely let me know in the comment section. And the last way for getting our files from our camera and onto our computer, we can transfer using USB-C or for all the iPhone users, the Android charger. <laughs> So this one will actually require the EOS utility that we downloaded in the previous method um, for it to work. So this one's very straightforward. Plug one end into your computer and the other end into the USB-C port here on the R50. The EOS utility will automatically detect it. The same window will come up and it'll be the same as if you're transferring from your camera to the computer. 
So those were the five ways of transferring files from your R50 and onto the devices so you can share them out with the world. But on screen right now, I have the Canon R50 user's guide. I already made a bunch of videos on the R50, so definitely check it out. If this video helped you, definitely hit the like button because it really helps this channel. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.